I don't think there's any way that they can have a win. Oh jeez, another one of these movies. No, I always go into these movies like knowing it'll probably be good, but I can't, it's like, I'm just so unnerved by it. I'm like, ugh, a bunch of people are gonna blow up, ugh, 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 and I just like can't sit still and you just want it to be over. It's not like the buildup was slow or boring, it's just that you want the tension to be over with already, which is good on the sign of the movie that it is successfully quite tense. Patriot's Day is about the Boston Marathon bombings, if you didn't know, and really the bombing stuff is over with relatively quickly in the movie. Most of the movie is based around the manhunt to get White Hat and Black Hat. You know, the two asshole sons of bitch cocksuckers who did it. And this is like the third true story Peter Berg survived. Deepwater Horizon came out just a couple months ago. I don't know, the release window has been quite weird. Mark Wahlberg is entertaining enough and he can encapsulate my interest. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'm on board with you, Mark Wahlberg. He didn't blow me away or anything, even though I imagine he'll get nominated for an Oscar because I'm like, okay, that's the scene that they're gonna show when he gets nominated. John Goodman's cool. He's not in the movie much. J.K. Simmons is cool. He's not in the movie much. Kevin Bacon, actually, I think is the standout. Kevin Bacon is very not Kevin Bacon. He's all like calm and collected and he's playing like a normal person. It's always cool to see one of them crazy actors play a normal person. Now, when the bombs do actually go off in the movie, it wasn't as intense as I was brave for it to be. I mean, it's still, you know, horrific and violent and, like, rated R and it'll give you an anxiety attack if you're one of those people. But, I mean, like, okay, from the giant plume of smoke that that made, all it showed were a few bloody, stumpy legs on people, and I'm like, there should be just mush everywhere. Not that it wasn't already pretty intense, heavy R-rated violence, but I feel like there should have been a lot bigger of a mess than there was. Maybe they just didn't want people throwing up in the theater and being an usher, I do appreciate that. And, you know, it is a good movie that encapsulates the emotional ups and downs of going through a situation like this quite well. You know, when initially everything's happening, Mark Wahlberg's like trying to, you know, go like do this, do that, you know, close off the barricade, stop it. He's like, you know, in adrenaline response mode. And then after it all settles down, he just kind of loses it. One thing that disappointed me were like the gunfights when they were like going after these people. I'm um, like, this, it, it should have been intense as all hell. And it was intense as all hell, but you know, it was filmed rather averagely, you know, it wasn't any like sweet ass like gunfight shots, especially since it's at night and there's lots of flashes, especially with the blue police lights and the gun f muzzle flash and the bombs going off. It was very difficult to see. And that's my biggest gripe in the movies. Like I wanted to I wanted to look at the gun action stuff better cooler than I did. And I got pretty much exactly what I expected out of this movie. I don't know. I guess maybe just cuz I'm so fresh off of Deepwater Horizon and Sully that this isn't quite as impressive to me because like all right, this guy just did this exact same thing and it's done as well. It's just kind of like franchise fatigue at this point. I mean, I wanted to give Patriot's Day in it, and I really did feel for the poor, pretty hot girls who were crying in the situation. I'm like, no, don't be sad. And other than the big intense bomb thing actually going off and just watching it happen to people, it just, it doesn't, it kind of, the movie kind of peaks with that at the beginning. Nothing like super awesome really happens after that. It just kind of unfolds how I expected. It's just, it just needed like a little more. It just needed some kind of push to get it to a nate, but I'm going to give it Patriot's Day, a 7 out of 10. Make no mistake, it is a good, well-made movie that you should see. It just need a little more oomph, I think, than it had.